Hello. In this video, we're gonna replace the thermal face of this uh, HP laptop. It's quite common model. This is a uh, HP 2000T-2C00. According to the customer, the laptop hasn't been opened before, so we're gonna open it. We're gonna replace the thermal paste and clean the fan. So let's start. We're gonna remove all the screws on the back. We're gonna remove these two covers and we should proceed after that with uh, removing the keyboard. So let's start. We have to take, take out the Wi-Fi because in order to leave the board the Wi-Fi will be blocking the board. We have to remove the cover here for the hard drive. We're gonna take out the drive and we're gonna disconnect this cable here. This is for the optical drive, but uh, we have to remove it also because we have to leave the board after that. Now we have to remove all the screws in the back. Uh, the three screws, I mean the two screws under the battery, they are the smallest one. We have two shorter ones which are numbered with uh, four everything else should be the same size so just keep that in mind We have a screw here for the keyboard, which is right next to the Wi-Fi. Now, since we got all the screws removed, we'll rotate the laptop. We're gonna try to lift the keyboard. Now, we'll do something sharp. We're gonna slide it between the keyboard and the, the chassis and we'll try to open it. Just let me find something. Try to find a weak spot. Now we have to remove the screws under the keyboard, they are all the same size. This one is white, I don't know why, ah, this is a different size, but you have it is written next to the screw hole, so yeah. We have to disconnect the touchpad cable. Now, when we lift the the plastic, we have to be careful because the cable for the power button is on the left side. So.
Yeah, we forgot a screw, as usual. Now try to lift and slide it a little bit. So you can disconnect the cable here. Like this. We have a broken hinge here. Now we have to disconnect the cable here for the USB and the, the power jack cable. Also the speakers on the left side. And we're going to disconnect the display cable. Now we have three screws, one here and two here on the bottom. We have to remove. They should be the same size also. Now we're gonna just lift the board like this and take it out. Let's try and yeah, it is broken. Now we're gonna put this on the side like this and we wanna we wanna clean the board, disconnect the fan. We have only four screws here for the for the CPU. We also got a screw here which is holding the fan. Now just move this, this uh, a little bit left to right and it's out. Let's see what is inside. Sorry about that. As you can see, we have big piece of dust which is preventing the airflow. Now I'm gonna uh, I think we have we can also lift the fan. No, this one not. Oh yeah, we can lift the fan. Uh, I'm gonna clean the fan inside with a little bit of alcohol. I'm gonna put some machine oil. I'm gonna clean everything and we'll be right back. Cause my vacuum cleaner is quite noisy. We'll be right back. Just a second. Now I did clean the fan. Did clean the grill. Now let's. Let's clean the fan and uh, lubricate it. Usually I'm using a little bit of alcohol. And then I'm using just a regular machine oil. Put some here and some in the fan. Don't put too much otherwise it will make a lot of mess. Yeah, the fan is okay. Now we have to put it back.
like this. Now let's let's clean the CPU. I am using a dry Q tip as usual first in order to get the old paste like this. Now we're gonna use some alcohol. Let's apply the new paste. Arctic M4, I got paste, decent quality. Don't put too much, otherwise next time you will have more to clean. Now we have to put everything back together. Move the color a little bit left to right in order for the paste to get even. Don't forget to put the screw here for the fan. Now we're gonna plug it and we're gonna put the board back in the laptop. Be careful with the cables. like this now I'm gonna put the three screws on the board This plastic is not very good, but now we're going to connect the display cable. Like this, we're going to connect the power cable here and the cable for the USB. We're going to plug the optical drive cable after that now the only thing we gotta plug now is the the speaker like this let me clean this a little bit now we have to connect the cable the same order we disconnected. Just plug it like this, and after that, pull the cable out. Actually, you can leave it even under. But it's up to you. Now we have this plastic here.
position it, put the screws back and we'll see how it goes. This plastic is broken here and we have to do something about it. I think it should be like this. Yeah. That's better. Don't forget to plug the touchpad cable. Now we're gonna connect the keyboard. The laptop is okay. 
Now we're gonna connect the optical drive and now comes the boring part. We have to put everything back together, all the screws. The shorter ones are under the battery. We have two short here under the hard drive. Everything else is the same size. Both of the hinges screws are broken, so yeah, I'll speak with the customer. I'm going to put the optical drive. The screw for the keyboard, also very important. Let's put the hard drive. Now let's check does it have a battery because you don't give me the charger. No. Let me find the charger. Let's plug the charger. We have a charging light. We have a picture. And I'll just go to BIOS so I can show you everything is fine. Here we have a picture. Basically that's the whole procedure. Hope you like the video. Bye bye for now.